So now open our SEO checklist tool and now step by step let's take a look. So our navigation bar is working. We have all the links set up and now we need to work on this one. So I have used this card component of bootstrap to display something at the center after that we have a button and after that we have another message and this can be configured in any way you want so let's begin all right scroll quickly all right so this is that type that i have used now this is left aligned i need something that is center aligned which is this one now as you can see it has this feature return it has this two days ago return but this center element is the same thing that i'm using here all right so don't worry we are going to delete the elements that we do not need so let's copy this code and this code is especially for home page so we are not going to make this change in layouts.html so click on home page and simply after this opening block content code let's paste it and again without changing anything click on this home button and we have our code placed here now since we want a full width card that spans from left to right we have not put it inside a div if we wanted we could create a container div for example like this a container div is predefined inside bootstrap that's let me show you so just above in layout you can click containers and see dot container container class is already defined and these are the width that you can expect from dot container and this is what you can do with the small size medium size large size and so on so at the maximum width i'm working with a flow ST monitor so at the maximum width it is going to span across 1400 pixel so let's see what happens this closing div will be at the very end after this closing div of this card so right after there let's refresh it and see it has created a block a container with the width of 1400 pixel and after this comes the this card element it would be better if i show you uh, inspect element all right so this is our navigation bar now this is our container see it spans across 1320 pixels now you can clearly see it it spans across 1320 pixels now inside of there let's expand it inside that we have this card element so let's quickly just uh, create something that resembles to this now we do not need this featured element so i'm going to delete this featured element and the same thing is to be done with this card footer so from a starting div to this closing div all right uh, now this card title is actually of a main line something that grabs the user so that's why i asked a question that if their keyword qualifies for the first page of google so since we are mocking up this page let's just copy and paste it and this h5 is going to be a little too small see this is already h5 and it looks too small let's refresh it and see it looks too small so i'm going to change this change it to h2 all right now this text this text is supposed to explain what they are going to get all right so this one will become find out for free and now p tag is again going to be a description tag which is just too small so i'm going to change it to h3 sorry about that change it to h3 and let's close it all right after this goes this button which is our seven day trial so let's say seven days trial period so let's refresh the page all right so we have everything set up now just after this we have this plans is starting at five dollar per month so it is just a single line let's copy this find out for free and then paste it before this closing div so let's paste it here and change the text to something that we want that we have displayed here like plants is starting for plants is starting at five dollars per month only all right so we have created something that resembles like this now again if you want a full width card then you can delete this container from here and this closing div at the end
it will become full width let's refresh it all right now this looks okay but this one has a lot more you know room a lot more padding and it also has this yellow color so everything that we are doing here comes with a CSS styling right now we are using the default style so we will make some manual changes inside main.css to make it look the way we want it to be before this we can either use these break tags to create some line breaks so let's create three line breaks here let's refresh it see it goes down after this we are going to create two line breaks and since uh, this button looks a little too schmuss between find out for free and here we are going to place one one line break between them and uh, just before here let's create another br tag great so we have created again something that re resembles like this if you think that there's a little too much padding here then you can you know trim that down all right so now that we have created something like this what do we actually need to do to create a background a blue background here it's very simple you just need to find out the element that goes right here in this card and then change the background blue like this background color is this so let's change anything and see it is changing so uh, if you change the dot card element then it will change all dot card elements which is not going to be good so we are going to wrap all of our code that is inside of this and that's why I have created individual content blocks so that we can apply custom CSS in every single one of them so let's start with this one let's change the name to block content a and then end block content a and now you need to remember that if you change the name here you need to change it in layouts as well so right here where we have opened this layouts.html let's navigate to this block content and make it content block a and then content and content block a all right so let's add it again so in this we are going to wrap all of that code inside a div and let's make it content a div all right so with this we can actually manipulate every single code that we are using inside of it it is going to be it is going to be full width so we are not going to have a problem with our widths let's refresh the page see no change there and now let's open our main.css so in our explorer click on static and then main.css inside we don't need these test codes let's delete them and we are going to code for content a so that's a class so dot content a curly braces and let's make it a background of dark blue okay so it is not applying why because the card element already has a background of white applicable there so for this to work we need to make one more change so let's type content a and in that dot card class and let's make it background none all right so let's now refresh it and see it's working so we want this particular color so let's right click on it inspect element and we want this section a color so that's background so we have this background in card body so let's just copy it and uh, you can also make it like dot content a dot card body that is card dash body card dash body in that we can place a background color of the one that we copied so this let's refresh it and see now it's working so everything is currently white so let's say the color will be let's refresh it and boom so now it looks much better and this is how you create blocks by blocks and then create a page like this
Now after this we have this another section, then this section and then this section. So I created multiple blocks inside layouts.html. So just like we have created this block content A and end block content A, let's copy them or just press Alt Shift and then down arrow one time, two, three. So we have these four blocks here with us. Let's quickly rename them content block B and then end content block B. All right, so all of these blocks are empty and until unless you use them in your home page dot HTML until unless you use them, they are going to be empty. They are not going to mess with the rest of your code. So it's up to you whether you want to use them or not. All right, so let's begin creating the next element, which is just after this end block content A. All right, in here we need a form element. So we will cover forms in the next video. So make sure to watch the next video because we are going to cover how to create forms and then make user login page. All right, so this is our form area. And after this, we have this content block C. Now this content block C is right here. Something that you want to display to your readers. This is what is all entitled. You can display anything. You can also display testimonials. You can also display a carousal of images. Something that you have done, a, port a portfolio. All right, so this is content block C. And right after this, we are going to paste content block D. All right, so I'm going to leave this area empty. See, this is form area. And right after this, we have this what is all entitled, which is, as you can see, which is as same as this one. So we can clearly use this card body layout. So from this div up to this div, you can paste it in content block C here. And let's refresh it. See, so it is same as the first one. I just changed a few things. All right, so let's change it quickly. What is all in title? And a simple explanation of what it is. So let's copy this one. And we don't need an ht class there. We need, we need only a paragraph class there. So that's p tag and delete this find out for free. We need this button to say sign up for free, not seven days trial period, because we want to keep the sign up for free at multiple locations so that the user does not need to you know, scroll back up to sign up to an account. We need that right in their face. All right, now let's refresh this page and boom. So this one looks exactly because I did not use any styling there. Sometimes simple looks better. All right, so after this, we have created this purple block with two images comparing all entitled results of types of health insurance plans. You can do the same if you want to compare some things or as I said, you can create a slider there. For this example, I am going to create a slider. 